Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to look at how we can take a small sculpture like this and bring it into a community as a piece of public art. And we're going to do this all digitally using Google Drawing. So think about where is there a place in the world that you think your sculpture could enhance? And how big would your sculpture be in this particular place? What color would it be? These are all things you will be able to decide today. Let's get started. In Google Drawing, you're going to need to do two things. One, you're going to have to insert a photo of the destination your sculpture will belong in. The second thing you'll have to do is you'll have to take a photograph of your sculpture and remove the background from it. So I'm going to show you how to do both of these things. First, in Google Drawing, I could either insert an image by searching the web or I could upload an image from my computer that I took myself. So first, let's just search the web. Let me think of a place I would want to put my sculpture. I think I want to put it in Brambleton, Virginia. Let's see what comes up here. If I find a picture I want to use, I'll just click on it and insert it. Ooh, there you have it. Now I could crop this down and just use a piece of it if I wanted to. Something else that I could do, if I would prefer, would be to insert a photograph. Maybe I have a particular place in mind and I want to take a picture of that location and insert it from my computer. So I'm going to go to Insert Image and Upload from Computer. Maybe you already put it in your drive and if that's the case, you just get it from your drive. I took these pictures yesterday. And you know what? I think this sculpture might look pretty cool right here in front of Brambleton Middle School. So if I'm happy with my picture, then I'm ready to take a photograph of my sculpture, remove the background from it, and place my sculpture in this destination. But before I do that, I do want to think about my overall canvas. So this space here that has the white and gray checkers, this is my canvas and I do want to make sure that I am uh, using all of it. So I wouldn't want to leave this here. What I can do is just resize the canvas. So I'm going to bring this in and make it fit my picture. Okay. I could also make my picture fit the canvas, but I'd want to be careful not to distort my location. So if I'm ever going to resize a, a picture, I'm going to take it in from a corner like this so that I don't distort it like this. If you take it in just from a side, woo, that changes the way it looks. Okay, so I'm just going to back that up a bit. All right. Now let's have fun with photography. All right, so now I have taken a photograph of my sculpture and I've turned to my sculpture in the location that I would like to photograph it from, giving it the best view, in my opinion, of all dimensions. And now I'm ready to remove the background. To do this, I'm going to open up a new tab on my computer and I'm going to type in remove.bg. This free website will remove the background quickly and easily from any photograph. Okay, I'm going to click upload image because my photograph is on my computer. And I'm going to find my picture. It's in my downloads. Here it is. Okay, and if I go back, you can see the original picture. So here's my original photograph that I took. Here's what it looks like now with the background removed. If you need to do any editing, you can click edit and occasionally, depending on if you had anything else in the foreground, 
close to your sculpture, you may have to edit some things out and you could do that using the erase function up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and paste it into my Google Drawing. So I'm going to right click, copy image. I'm going to then go to my Google Drawing, which is in a separate tab, and I'm going to paste this. So right click and paste. Okay, you can also use the commands Control C for copy and Control V for paste. And you also can download your image from this website. Okay, now is the fun part. So I have my sculpture here. I can decide first how large I want it to be. I'm gonna drag out using the corner so I don't distort the orientation of my sculpture. I don't wanna make it look taller and skinnier or wider, okay? So I can decide how big I want it to be. And uh, since this is, this is in the foreground, and I do want my sculpture to be quite large, I'm gonna make it pretty, pretty big. Okay, I think, I think that looks good. Now, I can also use the format options and recolor my sculpture and just see what it looks like with some different color options. So I'm gonna go to recolor Let's check this out blue. Let's try it red. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so I can really play around with this. I might, I think I might for this one, go with red. Yes. Okay, I can also do some adjustments. I can see if I want to make it brighter, darker, I kind of like it bright. I can also change the contrast to more contrast or less contrast. And something to keep in mind, when you're taking your photograph, good lighting can be very helpful. If you can have your light be a little bit more direct, um, on like one side, you can get a little bit more light and shadow. I wish I did have a little more light and shadow in my photograph. Okay, but I'm pretty happy with this. All right, now that you have turned your sculpture into a piece of public art, you need to give some credit to yourself. So what I want you to do is to insert a sign and put your name in that sign so that everyone knows you made this sculpture. So go to image and search the web. You can type in blank sign or uh, hanging sign or standing sign or whatever kind of sign you want, okay? And then after that, if you type in the word transparent or the letters PNG, this is going to help you find signs that have a transparent background so that it'll be inserted into your image without having white around it. This one's nice. I'm gonna look a little bit more though. You know, it's best not to pick the very first thing you see every time. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna insert this one in. I feel like this would go really well with the location and I'm going to resize it. And once it's resized, I will decide where I want it to go. Do I want it? I could even put it slightly in front of my sculpture if I wish. That maybe actually I'll move my sculpture back a bit and move this a little bit in front. I like that. Okay, now I also can recolor my sign. So I'm gonna go to format options and I'm just gonna see what it looks like with some other colors just in case I wanna use a different color scheme. No, I don't think I like the negative. Let's look and see what the grayscale. I kind of like that. I do kind of like that. Um, let's just try no recolor one more time. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the original. Okay, now I'm going to add in some text. So I'll go up to the text box and I'm just going to drag a text box in here. Decide on the color I want to use for text. I think white would show up nicely or light gray. And then I'm going to type in the words that I want to be in the sign. And I'm going to just write 
my name by this is Teal but also I want to give a title to this sculpture so I want this to be called balanced flow all right at this point I am finished putting my sculpture into a location that I would like it to be in as a work of public art. I have changed the scale so that I could show how large it would be in the location. I have changed the color because I thought it would look better as red, though you don't have to change the color. I mean, sometimes a sculpture looks really beautiful just in the color that it's made in. I added a sign with a title, my name, and the year it was created in. And now I'm ready to download this image and share it. So I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to go to Download as a JPEG image, okay? Okay, to share your work, what I want you to do is go to the Padlet, click on the plus sign, and then you're going to upload the image that you just saved from Google Drawing. So before I even worry about title, I'm just going to click the up arrow because that's the important part. I'm going to pick a file and this is going to open up the files on my computer. And I just recently downloaded the file of the Google Drawing, so I'm going to open that. All right, now I can type in my title and my name. So we can already see that in my picture, but it's kind of small. So I'm going to type it in again. I've called this balance flow, and this is my Mrs. Teal. All right. If you don't think that your audience will know the location that you put your sculpture in, you could even give them some extra information. So I could write balanced flow at Brambleton Middle School. Once you click outside of your entry, it is then saved. All right. Well, I hope that this video helped explain to you how to turn your sculpture into a piece of virtual public art. And I can't wait to see where you put your sculpture. Thanks for watching. Bye.